Hello, welcome to our registration workshop. Um, today I will be going over um, my planner and my scheduler and how to find your enrollment date. So, um, if you go ahead and look at your My SJSU, you can go ahead and look at the right hand side and see enrollment dates. So, go ahead and click details and then make sure that you are in fall session. This is summer 2020. So you can go ahead and click change term and go to fall 2020, click continue. So my registration date is at May 11, 2020 at 4.40 p.m. So th that's how you find um, any registration date for any um, term. So you could go ahead and just click which term you would like to see. All right, so going over to my planner, you can go and see um, the credits that you need, see how many you have completed and in progress and planned. So go ahead and click continue. And over here, you will see the classes that you would need to take for fall 2020. Um, you should have gone over this with your major advisor and see um, which classes you need and which are critical. Um, if you do wanna move classes, you can. You can rearrange your plan, but um, you can do that at your own time. So these are the classes that I have for fall 2020. So when I go ahead and go to home, I can go to my scheduler. All right. So go ahead and open your My Scheduler. Make sure you have pop up um, enabled. So this is how you can view your um, potential schedules for your classes. So for courses, go ahead and click Add Course. And you see the classes that you had in. Your my planner. Let me go back to my planner real quick. See the classes that you have in your my planner. You can actually go into my scheduler and click the my planner um, tab and select all of the classes that you have planned for fall 2020. So go ahead and add those classes. So now I have those courses right here on the right hand side and go ahead and click done. And then see now I have all of these classes. Um, inputted. So go ahead and click generate schedules. And then I have 318 schedules um, generated. So go ahead and click view for each of them. So if you have a specific class in mind, you can um, look and see, oh, say I want EE98 to be 130 to 140 to 245. I can go ahead and lock this class. And the results are going to narrow down from a larger number to a smaller number um, just because this class is going to stay put and all of the other classes will move around but the E98. So you can go ahead and click around and see which classes you would like. Um, you could also go to the main page and go to sections and then see the classes that um, are offered and see which, um, which seminars and which labs are there. So go ahead and click back. Um, and then you can, so once you go to the generated schedules, you can actually go ahead and see which classes you like. Say you don't want a Friday class. So this schedule doesn't have a Friday class. Um, say this works for me, right? You can actually go ahead and favorite this schedule and say option one um, and see which ones you like. So say that's one option. Um, let's see, this one doesn't have a Friday class either. Um, you can go ahead and click that as option two. This just enables you to have different options when classes do fill up. Um, so say this is the one I really want, right? So this is the class that I want. So you can go ahead 
and um, you can lock these if you would like, but if you change your mind, um, you don't have to lock it. So you can go ahead and send this schedule to your shopping cart and this will transfer um, your shopping cart to the, your my scheduler to your shopping cart. So go ahead and click continue. So the instructions are over here and it says that you have to visit the enrollment page in the student center. So you can go ahead and go back to your home on my SJSU and then go to enroll right here enroll and then import cart see right here it says click here to import cart so this actually imports your cart from my scheduler so the your classes that you selected will pop up so this was the thursday lab that i um selected and then this is the seminar that I selected, the lecture. Um, over here, you can actually see if the class is open or waitlisted or closed. So if this class does end up having a waitlist, you can go ahead and click waitlist if full. Um, please remember that waitlisting a class doesn't guarantee you a spot in the class, but this does put you in the waitlist if it does fill up before your registration date. So. This class, um, so if you do need to add an ad code to any class to register, um, you can actually go ahead and click permission number. This is where you put the ad code in. So that goes for every class if you do get an ad code for whichever one you do get an ad code for. So go ahead and just click next for all the classes that you have selected. And over here, you have your fall 2020 um, shopping cart. So this is actually all the classes that you had in your My Scheduler. Um, and then you can actually, once your registration date um, comes around and your registration time comes around, you can go ahead and proceed to step two of step three. Right now it's giving me this error message that I don't have valid enrollment appointment at this time. And that's true because I have to wait till May 11th. But once May 11th, 4.40 p.m. hits, I can go ahead and proceed to step two and my fall, my cart will be um, under my fall 2020 schedule. So just make sure to look at this um, at your cart a day or two before your registration date to see if all your classes are still open because if they aren't open uh, and you have a wait list, if you want a guaranteed class, you can always go back to my scheduler and see which classes are open. So say I change my mind and um, I don't want EE97 on Thursday, the labs on Thursday anymore, and I don't want that lecture. I can go ahead and trash those and then go back to my scheduler. And then let's open that. So say I didn't want those classes anymore, I can go ahead and unlock these courses. And since I already have these courses here, I can go ahead and lock them. Or actually it says I already have it locked because, oh, I have to view it. All right, okay. So view these. Um, this will give me the options for EE. So these don't have the locks actually because they're already in my cart. So it's only gonna show me options for EE97 and EE98. So I can go ahead and see um, which classes I want um, by viewing each schedule. Um, you can go ahead and lock a class and then it'll narrow down your results and it'll show me the options for each lab. So make sure that when you actually go into the sections over here, um, if you would like to um, see for sure if you can register for the class, you can go ahead and click sections and click this information button and see um, the consents required. So some classes do have, I do not have an example here, but some classes do have um, department consent required. So those classes are actually saved for um, if all of the other sections fill up. So make sure that 
your classes don't have that um, that note because if it does have that note, then you won't be able to register for that class until all of the other sections are full. So yeah, so if I select this schedule, um, you can go ahead and send this schedule to my shopping cart and then it'll go ahead and send those two specific classes, the EE98 and EE97 back to my shopping cart. Let's go ahead and go back to enroll, go back to import cart, and then it'll show me the classes again. Again, if you need the add code in the wait list, um, you can go ahead and click those, and then next, and then next, and then it shows all of those classes. So um, that concludes our registration workshop. So if you have any questions, feel free to email the Engineering Success Center. But this also concludes our workshop. Thank you very much for listening. Um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Okay, thank you.